And John, you know, tourists pay $250,000 for this journey. What's happened and what do we know? Well, we know that this um, diving vessel can go down to 4,000 meters. And it was on a dive, started Sunday, and they lost communication with it. And then hours later asked for help from the Coast Guard to find this vessel. There were five people aboard, a pilot and four crew members, or, you know, specialists, as they call them. Uh, but basically, they're people who pay to go deep in the water. Okay. What, do we, what's the latest? I mean, so obviously, there's a lot we don't know at this point in time. Have authorities I mean, given us any... I indication of the, the sort of next steps that we're looking at here. What's the latest, if, if we can extrapolate any information from that? Well, there's supposed to be enough uh, oxygen on board for 96 hours, and it's been out there uh, over 36 hours now. So they've still got a couple more days, theoretically. But it, it really depends what happened. I mean, it's possible that it floated back up to the surface, and they just haven't found it floating on the surface. Like if the power died, typically some of these vessels would, you know, have pinging signals that they would send out so that you could track them. The fear is that something went wrong when it was deep underwater and there's no way to rescue. Is this kind of exped expedition common uh, in terms of the demand for this kind of thing and how, how, mm -hmm. how frequently this dive has been done before? Well, there's only, because the seas are very rough in the North Atlantic for these very small craft, they, there aren't, there's a small window of opportunity when you can actually go underwater. There's only something like five of these specialized submersibles that can go down to the Titanic. So there's, you know, not that much opportunity to be able to make these kind of dives. Most people that go down are like scientists or salvagers. Um, people who somehow get subsidized going down. Uh, but the kind of tourists that go down, this is only the third year for this Ocean Gate Expeditions submersible to be on journeys out there in this place. So, no, not a lot. It's about like going into space on one of, you know, Jeff Bezos' rockets. In fact, one of the guys, Hamish Harding, who was aboard this uh, submersible, he had been on Jeff Bezos's rocket. So he's like the kind of guy who wants to go into space, now he's going underwater.